They say gardening adds years to your life and life to your years, and I wholeheartedly agree. I've been a houseplant lover for many, many years, but I hadn't actually tried growing my own food until March of 2020. I think many of us picked up gardening during this time, and it was definitely a big source of joy for both my husband and I. Since we've had this garden for about a year and a half, I thought it'd be a good time to make an official video, giving you a tour of our garden, show you how it works, how simple it can be, and how rewarding it is to grow your own food. So let's start with the basics. This this is a hydroponic vertical garden from a brand called Lettuce Grow, and they call this a farm stand. It's made from ocean-bound plastic, and it uses 95% less water than traditional gardening methods. There are a variety of different hydroponic garden brands out there, but for Lettuce Grow specifically, you would just order the seedlings through their website, and these are just pre-sprouted plants, and it gives you a three-week head start, which increases your growing success rates. Besides the fact that vertical gardens take up so little space and use significantly less water, I also love that there isn't this big learning curve to start growing like there is for full-on garden beds. After you pop the seedlings into their pods, all you need to do is plug it into a regular outlet. I have ours outdoors, but you can also have it indoors. What often surprises people is that it's not connected to any running source of water. You fill up the base of the lettuce grow, and then from there the water recirculates throughout, up and down, watering the roots. Hydroponics is just a fancy way of saying that the plants grow in water instead of soil. So with the vertical system, it delivers water directly to the plants without creating runoff and wasting water. As far as upkeep, I just fill the base with water about once a week. I add some nutrients and then do a quick pH test. All of this takes about 10 minutes once a week, so it's pretty low lift. It depends on the plants you picked, but generally you'll start to see some growth after two weeks. Here's what ours looked like after three weeks. Once you start to see more serious growth, it's a good idea to hose off your farm stand every week or so. I like to take this time to connect to what I'm growing. So I'll go outside barefoot. I like to touch all the leaves. I inspect them for pests or caterpillars. Caterpillars can be so fierce and eat up all of your kale and lettuce if you don't catch them in time. So I definitely recommend checking out the organic and non-toxic spray that I use below. It deters caterpillars and it worked out really well this time. As you can see, we have some beautiful greens, no holes. It's actually pretty amazing when I think of it, how a tiny corner of our patio can grow up to 36 different plants. We've grown butter lettuce, kale, green beans, bok choy, eggplant, zucchini, baby watermelons, the list goes on. It's been incredible. Perhaps the biggest takeaway and lesson for me is how beautiful life is when we actually slow down enough to see it. When I'm harvesting greens for my salad, I'm not worried about what I'm missing on my phone. And the older I get, the more I wanna make sure I'm actually being present and being grateful for all the abundance that surrounds us. Life can move so fast and I don't wanna look back years from now and think I didn't fully soak it in and appreciate it. As they say, when you focus on the good, the good gets better. So take time to celebrate the small things. Whether it's a new leaf that sprouted, a recipe you learned, a workout you conquered, be proud of the journey, do more of what you love, and release the stuff that brings you down. Thank you all so much for tuning into this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.